have our leprechaun traps ready to go and we have a couple other fun things in store so we can celebrate St. Patrick's Day for a few days leading up to the real big day. and happy St. Patrick's Day! Maya, what are you and Colin working on? Making a leprechaun trap. We have a tradition here for every St. Patrick's Day, well, almost every St. Patrick's Day, we make leprechaun traps. And we are trying, we try year after year to catch one of those sneaky little green guys, a leprechaun. Do you guys think you're gonna catch one this year? No, uh, yes, I do. You don't think so, Colin? No. Why not? Because the leprechauns are too sneaky. They're too sneaky. Like a fox. Like a fox? Well, Colin isn't very confident in our leprechaun catching abilities, and I can't blame him. We haven't had a lot of luck in the past years. But Maya, she's a little more hopeful. Basically, the leprechaun will be walking, and he's going to see all this gold inside oh. the leprechaun. And, oh, and he'll be like, pew, pew, like Colin did, and he'll get stuck. And then in the morning, we'll be like, we caught you. <laughs> right, so the goal for a good leprechaun trap is you have to have something that entices the little leprechaun or little green guy to come and explore the area you're trying to trap him in. We've got all this gold Maya's putting down, and Colin, you've got footprints that are telling your leprechaun exactly where to go. He'll be like, ooh, I just climbed this ship, and, and then he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And he's gonna get trapped inside. Now today is not actually St. Patrick's Day. We're getting the spirit of things a little bit early because we're gonna be out of town for St. Patrick's Day this year. So we wanna make sure we have our leprechaun traps ready to go. And we have a couple other fun things in store so we can celebrate St. Patrick's Day for a few days leading up to the real big day. I'm gonna have these footprints. So he's like, oh, I, I guess. Like there, like I don't know. Maybe there's more than one leprechaun. That go, like there's a leprechaun per house. Like there's elves during Christmas, and maybe like well, maybe another leprechaun came here. So he's, he's gonna come he's gonna in, follow him, and then he's, and then and like I put shiny things like right back Ooh. here and here. So he's gonna be like, oh, I wanna go, but then he'll be like, oh no, 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 fall on him. Stuck. While Maya and Colin are busy getting their leprechaun traps all ready, I'm gonna go check in on Addie because she's working on a special surprise for them. We've got leprechaun Addie in here working on a special surprise. What are you doing, Addie? I am working on a scavenger hunt for Maya and Colin. I went onto Pinterest and I found a fun leprechaun scavenger hunt. I believe it was from the Lil Luna website, lilluna.com, I believe. And Addie's gonna set it up all around the house that Colin and Maya can find some fun at St. Patrick's Day, treats, accessories, and in with some cupcakes in the refrigerator. I hear your clue cards. Thank you. You've got all sorts of little fun surprises and our cupcakes. You think you can figure it out and know where to place everything? I think so. I think you can too. You're gonna be our leprechaun for today. I'll be the leprechaun. All, all right. right. Good luck, Abby. You can do it. Thank you. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I found another fun thing on Etsy from the Purple Jellyfish Company, and it is a chart to help you discover what your leprechaun name is. So, Maya and Colin, we're <laughs> gonna figure out our leprechaun names, and I think we have to go by these names all day today. So you are no longer Maya, and you are no longer Colin. Oh, okay, I'm up for the challenge. I'm gonna take the first letter of my first name, which is an L, and it tells me the first part of the name is Greeny, and then I'm gonna take the month I was born in, which is August, and it tells me McOrangebeard. So I am Greeny McOrangebeard today. What do you think of that? That's what are you gonna call me? No more mom. Greeny McOrangebeard. Maya, what are you? So M. I'm Rainbow. Rainbow, that seems fitting. And December. McCloverson. That's Rainbow McCloverson. Colin begins with the C, so you are funny. And then June, four leaf clover. That's good. Funny four leaf clover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> funny four leaf clover. Rainbow, Rainbow McClover. 
Fullerton. Oh! Four leaf clover. Four leaf clover. And Orange Beard. McOrange Beard. What's my first name? Clover? Greeny. Greeny McOrange Beard. Here comes Addie. I think she has something for you two. What is it? We'll find out. Here's the first card first, though. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Sneaky little leprechauns have visited your house. They left a trail as quiet as a mouse. Follow the clues they left behind and enjoy the wonderful treasure you shall find. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do the first clue, we have to find out what Addie's leprechaun name is. Oh. A is for um, Clover. Clover, okay. And then May is McGreen Toes. <laughs> Clover McGreen Toes. Clover McGreen Toes. Back to the scavenger hunt. Lucky Close. clue number one. All right, my sweet friends, here's your clue. Go look in the bathroom sink for clue two. Let's go, come on. Oh, there are. Oh, I can't keep up with you two. Whoa. Oh, what? Is what? Ooh, a headband. <laughs> Lucky clue number two. What is Let's see, what does it say? It lights up. <gasps> Whoa. Those sneaky little leprechauns sure think that you're groovy. Find the next clue where you go watch a movie. A TV? Oh, comes up. Comes up. <gasps> oh! What? Another headband. Who's? Oh, you're gonna swap out, Colin. I love it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next Lucky clue. Lucky clue number three. You did it again. You're hot on the trail. Now look for the place where you check for the mail. Mailbox. Let's go. And I'll go on. Okay, okay. okay. On the okay. Off they go. Oh, oh, mustaches. Give me one. Oh, green mustaches. Oh, what's the clue say? Number four. Can you read it to us? All right, let's see. Lucky clue number four. St. Patrick's Day colors aren't blue, white, or red. Look for your next clue under your bed. Which one do you want? Oh, just one. Gonna have that one. We both want gold. I want a mustache too. Addie's going for a fuzzy one. Oh, oh I called one. you Addie. Oh. Oh no. Clover Mc. Clover McGreen Toes. McGreen Toes. <laughs> I don't like the last name, but I kind of like the first name. It seems kind of mischievous. It does. Oh, there you go. Green I mustache like for Clover mm. McGreen Toes. Oh, looks good. Looks good. Um, and now we're headed to what was the clue? Under, under your bed. Under a bed. We're so gonna check Colin's bed Colin's first. Colin's bed first. Okay. Some cool necklaces. I need to break this off. Getting yours on, Maya? Yep. And you have the next clue, it looks like. Yes. Lucky clue number five. Yum, yum, crunch, crunch. Find the next clue where you sit to eat lunch. Like Counter or dining room? meant for our furry friend, oh, Sandy. Sandy. I wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. 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 Oh, you're in the spirit, oh, Sandy. Lucky clue number six. You're nearing the end. It's almost done. We sure hope you had some fun. Now look in the place that keeps milk cold. So we're and you're on the right path to the rainbow and gold. Or fr fridger. Fridge. Okay. Okay, to the fridge. Maybe the mini fridge, Colin. Oh, it's open! <gasps> it's open! Pull it out! You oh. open it! They're cupcakes! Oh. Sandy says I want one. You guys did it! Oh, which one do you want? I like the four leaf clover because I'm I'm so you You're funny for the clover. And that means Maya has to get that. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting the rainbow. rainbow. Well, they completed the scavenger hunt and they found, oh, there goes my mustache. They found their pot of gold, or in this case, a oh, case of cupcakes. This mustache doesn't like me. <laughs> Good job, Rainbow McCloverson. And funny for the clover. And many thanks to Clover McGreen Toes over here for coordinating our scavenger hunt.
While they're enjoying their cupcakes, I have a St. Patrick's Day riddle for you. We're gonna see if the girls can get it as well. What do you call a leprechaun's vacation home? Any thoughts, Maya? No. Patty? I have no clue. A lepra condo. Oh. <laughs> Maya and I are now going to make some leprechaun bait. And leprechaun bait is basically just like a yummy, sweet and salty snack that has a little bit of a St. Patrick's Day twist to it. What are you working on for our leprechaun bait, Maya? Um, I'm working on getting one half of one cup of Lucky Charms and Marshmallows out of this big bowl of cereal. <laughs> so if you look on Pinterest and search leprechaun bait, there are so many fun recipes and lots of different variations of it. So I've just kind of made my own right now. I'm gonna share what we're using to make our leprechaun bait if you wanna try to make the version that we're making. But there are just tons of fun ideas online, so there's really no wrong way to make it. To make the really big batch that we're making, we are using three cups of Lucky Charm cereal and two cups of pretzel twists. We have four cups of Chex Mix. We are working on at least a cup of just the marshmallows from Lucky Charms. We might add a little bit more because we love marshmallows, don't we? Yes, we do. And then we need two bags of white chocolate chips, three teaspoons of vegetable oil, and a chocolate candy. I found gold cichlids that I'm going to use today, but I really wanted to use green M&Ms. I just could not find them anywhere. It looks like you've got enough marshmallows, Maya. You good? Yep. All right. I think Sandy wants one. <laughs> when we're baking or cooking in the kitchen, Sandy is never far. Maya, now that our ingredients are all ready, what's the first step? So first we line our two baking sheets with parchment paper. And if you haven't noticed, I've kind of given up on our leprechaun names because for whatever reason, I cannot remember them. So we're back to Maya. But I'm Rainbow McCloverson. <laughs> I do like that name. <laughs> but Maya's easier. Yeah. <laughs> Next step is you need a really big mixing bowl if you're mixing as much as we are. And Maya, you're gonna combine the Chex, the pretzels, the Lucky Charms cereal, and the Lucky Charms marshmallows but we're just gonna do half of the chocolate candy. Sounds good. Think you got it? Yep. All right, mix her in. Yum, yum. Give it a good stir, Maya. We're gonna mix it up really well. We just added the vegetable oil to the chocolate chips, we're gonna put that in the microwave, Mike. Wanna do that for me? Yep. For 30 seconds, we're gonna do 30 seconds, stir, 30 seconds, stir. Then we're gonna check in about every 10 seconds, stir, 10 seconds, stir, until the white chocolate chips are melted and creamy. We gotta be careful though, because we don't wanna burn them. While Maya's working on the white chocolate chips, I've got another St. Patrick's Day riddle for you. What is a leprechaun's favorite type of music? Leprechaun's favorite type of music? <laughs> What's your guess, Sandy? Shamrock and roll. Oh, that. Rock and roll with the shamrock? <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Yeah. <laughs> it looks pretty Ooh. good now. I think it's done. Yep. Now we're going to pull. Ah, I can see you sticking chocolate. No. <laughs> now we're going to pour the melted chocolate over the mix and stir, and this is the tricky part, Maya, because we wanna stir without crushing too much of the Chex Mix, so we gotta stir very gently. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, Sandy. Sandy. Sandy, Sandy, no, 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 come here. No chocolate for you, no chocolate. We're getting there. Mixing is looking good, so our next step is to spread them out on our baking sheets that we have already lined with parchment paper. <laughs> then we're gonna let it harden at room temperature or put it in the fridge to let it speed up the process just a little bit. And, oh, I can't forget. 
We also have to add on our extra candies. So we're gonna add those on top before we put it in the fridge. I think we've got it laid nice and flat, which means now we're gonna sprinkle on a little bit of this extra chocolate candy. Ooh. I'm still wishing I had the green m and but these are fun too. It'd be really fun if you had green sprinkles or St. Patrick's Day shamrock sprinkles. That would be a fun touch you could add as well. To speed up the setting process, we're gonna try to make room inside of our fridge to set them in here and let them harden, but we gotta find some way to clear some space, Maya. Yeah. We've got a full fridge. <laughs> While our leprechaun bait is setting, we're sitting outside enjoying this beautiful day and we're gonna have some St. Patrick's Day trivia. I'm gonna quiz Maya, Ooh. but I want you to play along too. Are you ready for your first question? Yes. Okay, which country do we commonly associate St. Patrick's Day with? Ireland? Yeah. Yes. Ireland is right, good job. Okay, the first one was easy, but we're gonna get tougher now. All right. You might just have to take a guess at this one. What are the odds of finding a lucky four-leafed clover? Like one in what? One in four? One in 10,000. They're hard to find. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, third question. There's an American city that every year since 1962 has dyed its river green for St. Patrick's Day. What city do you think it is? City? <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Give up? I give up. The answer is Chicago. Really? Mm-hmm. Every year. Green River. <laughs> <laughs> There's a traditional main dish served on St. Patrick's Day in many American households. Maya, do you know what it is? We've actually had it for the last few St. Patrick's Day. I'm not sure you'll think of the name though. It's not green pancakes. Nope. It's corned beef and cabbage. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't remember that. This last one really threw me. Okay. So what color do we associate with St. Patrick's Day today? Green. Green. But that's not the original color that was associated with the holiday. Want to take a guess what it was? Is it blue or purple? It's blue! How'd you know that? <laughs> Lucky guess. Our leprechaun bait is officially ready. It's nice and hardened, so it actually picks up as like a big sheet, which is crazy. But we're gonna break it apart into little pieces and store them inside bags. Maybe keep them in the fridge because I like it kind of cool. Yeah. It's good though. You like it? I love it. You got one big chunk, girly. <laughs> oh, and Sandy's still hovering around. She followed us inside. Yes, Wherever there's food, Sandy follows. Thank you so much for joining us for St. Patrick's Day. We hope you have a blessed day. And what do we say, Maya? XOXO. XOXO. Bye. <laughs>